Oh, Barrow's back! Treats! Did you bring more treats? Sorry, nothing today. Aww. Arrow's a meanie, huh? Maybe his shady old buddy in the tacky suit will be nicer. Oh, that stings. Okay, kitties, who wants candy? Me! I don't see Raven around. I wonder what he's doing. Teacher's at the hospital. Munanori got a fever, so we took him to the doctor. This is bad. It's just a fever. I'm sure he's fine. We can just wait for him to come back. No, not that. It's almost dinner time. Did Raven have time to prepare anything? I'll go check the kitchen. Bad news. There's nothing ready. Why don't you guys make dinner, Arrow? We've got all these adults here. At least one of you's got to know how to cook. I always knew this day would come. Just watch the master at work. Was not expecting it to be Saizo. And why not? Ash and I always took turns on meal prep back when we lived together. Huh. Go figure. All right, you little gremlins. What are you hungry for? Hamburg steak! Ooh, not bad. I make a mean Hamburg steak myself. Hmm, probably best to boil it. I know a butcher who could get us some Wagyu. You kids know what A5 grade is? Oh, I'm not talking school or algebra. A5 grade meat. That's way too rich for our tastes. I'll do the shopping. The markets usually have ground beef on sale this time of day. Um, may I... Cooking doesn't exactly seem like part of the Ion skill set. When I'm controlling Mimi, I use my leftover processing to study. Whoa, Fig. You're learning all this new stuff without me? I'm getting left behind here. I'm perfectly capable of doing things on my own, you know. I guess it'd be pretty easy to multitask like that, but... Sure, Fig. Let's work together on this. All right. Oh, oh, I want to have something cute. Then we'll arrange the vegetables in a cute pattern. Oh, the steak. We can make it into a Mimi shape. Who's Mimi? <laughs> You'll see. For now, Arrow will take care of the shopping, Saizo will attend to the rice, and I will prepare some miso soup. On it. Understood. She's really taking charge. And Melody can... What, me? Can you read me a story? What? Please? I suppose Melody can entertain the children. <laughs> Are you seeing this, Fig? This is a whole new Melody. Ringo, commit all this preparation to memory. You'll be on cooking duty next time. Sure. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Nice going, Melody. Turns out behind that sharp tongue of yours, you're actually pretty caring, huh? What? The way you handled those kids, you know? I wasn't doing anything special. No, I think you were. What, you too, Arrow? Lose the grin, it's making me sick. You know that girl you were reading to, Ichika? She's actually really hard to please. I don't think I've ever seen her smile like that before. I appreciate you looking out for her. I'm telling you, I didn't do anything. Sorry I'm late. Rude of me, seeing as I called you over. Welcome back, Raven. Also, I'd like to apologize. I ended up making dinner without asking permission. No, 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 no. I'm the one who should apologize. And thanks. The kids seem really happy. That's all that matters. <sighs> yeah, Raven's great when it comes to curry, but everything else... Well, it's nothing to write home about. I think you ought to change your perspective, Arrow. The real problem is that my curry's so great, nothing else compares. Sure, I guess you could look at it that way. See? Uh, then again, I guess my cooking can get a bit samey, huh? Uh, if you guys don't mind, do you think you could swing by again sometime like you did today? You don't mind? Of course not. The kids would love to see you. The kids? Sure. I suppose every now and then wouldn't hurt. Just don't forget we've got a job to do. That's our top priority. Yes, of course. I know that. I was overjoyed? Even though the activity in question had no relation to Ion's mission. It's gotten pretty late. We better get down to business. Right. First, about Mangetsu? I can fill us in on that one. So Mangetsu's dead. Alright, I'll make sure Yadagarasu gets the news. Thanks.
Now it's my turn. Yadagarasu's investigation has identified what we believe to be Iron Mask's hideout. It's an abandoned complex in Ozaki. Ozaki Hope Towers, it's called. Real estate really took a turn for the worse over in those parts. So a lot of the buildings were left unfinished. Couldn't make a profit if you tried. Perfect place for the bad guy to set up his secret lair, though. And how reliable is this info? One of our agents confirmed seeing Iron Mask and Zenin go in and out. That's odd. I agree. I'd previously tried to track Iron Mask through the city's surveillance cameras, but I wasn't able to find any trace of him. Possibly because he was being careful. So what? I was wondering about that as well. Maybe he's trying to lure us in. It's possible. We do have one of the Covenants, after all. Then it's too dangerous. We'd be walking right into his trap. Hmm. Maybe. But we don't have any other options. This is probably all we're gonna get. Ringo's right. Hold up. Don't get in my way. I think you're gonna want to hear this. You want to kill Iron Mask, right? This had better be good. Yeah, I'll let you be the judge of that. I went to the Goma Den and asked about the Zoma's weakness. Apparently, Zoma are sensitive to the phases of the... <sighs> well, we know the place. Now we just gotta wait for the right... All right, then we'll go on the next new moon. Make sure you do... Obviously. What's wrong? What? It's written all over your face. Something's bothering you. Was it something in our conversation? No, that's not it. I heard from Arrow. About Komodori's other side. Ah. You were so kind to the children. And they all look so happy. I guess I just misunderstood. You're still bound up in the summoner's karma. <sighs> guess I am. But... I know my first impression of you wasn't wrong. You really care about those kids, and you take them seriously. That's why they respect you so much. That kindness is what they see in you. It's why they all want to be like you. How much longer are you going to do this? Until I'm ordered to stop. Then, I will use my own power. I will find a way for you to live in peace with the children. Are you seriously suggesting I use Ion for something that's self-serving? You need to calm down. I'm perfectly calm. And it's not self-serving if we want the same things. You don't want these children to have to fight. We can agree on that much, can't we? There's still so much you don't know. Of course. I'm a newborn. If the kids are that important to you, then I suggest you wait before you make your move. Tell me why. Don't forget that Ion and Yadagarasu stand on different sides in all this. If you cross a line on your own, it could spark more conflict than you realize. I suppose I'd rather not make myself unwelcome here. Right? You're talking to the wrong guy anyway. I just work here. So you don't intend on being their agent again? Not if I can help it. Oh, but it's not as noble as I'm sure you're thinking. Then what is your reason? I burned down a village once. A covert operation in a foreign country. <laughs> The mission was to purge a village that had been corrupted by a demon's influence. I killed everyone there. The kids. The elders. I told myself it was all necessary. All for the mission. And at some point I guess I dropped my comp. I saw it on the ground and suddenly it just... looked grotesque. As horrific as any of the bodies. And that's when I realized I couldn't fight anymore. So, Yadagarasu put me out to pasture. Once they saw I'd changed, they made room for me here and put me to work as a teacher. You pushed yourself too hard, that's all. You tried to do your job. <laughs> and for what? You really are a kind soul. You don't want all this violence to continue, right? I don't know. But I know I want the kids out of it. And if anything ever threatens their happiness, I'll pick the comp back up if I have to. Thank you for speaking with me. About Arrow. Huh? I haven't seen him smile and laugh like that in a long time. He's happy with you, so... Thank you.
Choosing not to fight doesn't make you weak. It made you a good person. I can fight so you don't have to. So the children don't have to. Uh. There's still Hamburg steak. We saved some for you. If you didn't get any dinner, it's waiting. Are you done talking yet? Hey, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. You're the one who's always reminding us to say thank you. <sighs> Fine. You got ten minutes, then back to bed. Okay. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> You think this is in the cards for you too, Arrow? Life like ravens? What? Me? Well, it'd be nice. But only after we finish the fight. You're so stubborn. You really gotta learn to be more flexible. Miss? Uh, well... When are you gonna visit next? Oh, uh, I mean, I... I really don't know. <sighs> uh, look. If I ever drop by again, then I'll read you another story, okay? Oh, thank you, miss. <laughs> we mustn't overstay our welcome. Let's go. Say goodbye, everyone. See ya! Thanks for visiting! Bye! <sighs> Made it. This place really takes a lot out of me. Well, we've got a nice moonless night ahead of us. You guys ready? Everyone have their